good. Welcome back, everybody. Prior to the start of tonight's Senior A Boys Contest between Paragould and Mountain Home. And again, you're watching Paragould Rams basketball live on the Paragould Rams Sports Network on YouTube. I'm Jimmy Dodd, Jr., along with the cast of folks here from PHS, and we're all excited to be able to bring you tonight's contest. Congratulations to the Senior A girls who won the opener tonight by a margin of 41 to 21. And we're going to turn it over to Shannon Freeman, public address announcer, for the introduction of starting lineups. basketball in tonight's Senior A contest. Paragool against Mountain Home. Rams will start with Isaiah Jackson, Gavin Hall, Ashton Oaks, Jamison DeVault, and Kayla Giles. Mountain Home with five, Luke Proctor, 11, Reed Ellison, 14, Kyle Bigford, 20, Braxton Carson, and 33, Braden Dewey. We're ready to play. The ball is in the air, and the opening tip is controlled by Paragool. Giles, a little smooth 10-footer, rolls in good. Caleb Giles gets the Rams off to a good start with a nice smooth 10-footer. Mountain Home back across the timeline. First offensive possession for Mountain Home tonight. Good defense by Gavin Hall on the wing. Rams putting some pressure on the basketball. Mountain Home around the perimeter. Against aggressive defensive pressure. Nice job by DeVault cutting the driver off. Yeah, I'm still looking to penetrate. Baseline drive layup is good. That was a nice move by Reed Ellison, who ties the game at two. Back come the Rams. Hall penetrates, leaves it. Isaiah Stewart outside the three-point line. Kicks it out. Oaks drives. Shot, left hand, no good, short, and Mountain Home with a rebound. Mountain Home in no apparent hurry. Baseline, good penetration drive, shot is blocked by Giles, maintained by Mountain Home. 
Kick it out, open three from the top of the key is no good, and Isaiah Jackson cleans the glass for Paragool. Back comes Paragool. Here comes DeVault. Back to Ashton Oaks. Gavin Hall. Gavin takes the shot, 17 in and out, no good. Mountain home with the rebound. Mountain home. Dribbles the ball around the perimeter. Good defense by Paragool. Cross court pass. Good defense by DeVault. Mountain home nowhere to go with it. Showing some patience offensively. Rams good aggressive defense. Here comes a long three that's good. Nothing but the bottom by Luke Proctor. So Rams are going to have to get a hand up in his face. Mountain home with a 5-2 lead. Gavin Hall across the timeline. And it leaps down. In the, oh, and that beautiful pass and lay in by Isaiah Jackson. Good backside screen, and Isaiah took a nice feed from Hall and laid it in. 5-4, Mountain home by one. Mountain home looks over to the coach for some instructions. That's Josh Fulcher. Open three from the wing is too strong air ball, and it's going to go out of bounds, and the ball will turn over to Paragool. This Mountain home tried to knock it off of a Paragool defender, but was out of bounds before he could do so. And the Rams back the other way. Gavin Hall with the basketball. Over to Ashton Oaks. Oaks drives, penetrates the free throw, dumps it down to Isaiah. He got fouled, no call, and the ball goes out of bounds. So Perigo will have it on the baseline. Gavin Hall will throw it into the baseline, gets it into Isaiah. Isaiah with the left hand scores, and he is fouled. Beautiful move by Isaiah. As he got the nice entry pass, got it with the left hand and drew the foul. Nice off the glass. Paragol takes a 6-5 lead, and Isaiah will have a chance to complete the three-point play. Free throw is up. Too strong, no good. Rebound Mountain Home. 4.35 to go first quarter. Paragol leads 6-5 just underway in tonight's Senior A Boys contest. Mountain Home around the perimeter. And shot off balance, taking no good. Rebound by Kai Bickford. Rams unable to close that rebound out. And there's going to be a violation as Luke Proctor, I think, stepped on the sideline. So Perigo will put it in play in the backcourt. Back comes Gavin Hall to Isaiah Stewart. Stewart. Going to drive all the way down, lays it in. They just simply could not stop Isaiah on a one-on-one -on -one move to the, to the glass. And Isaiah shows his offensive ability, and Paragool now leads 8-5. Mountain home back the other way, 14, Kai Bickford. Mountain home around the perimeter. Good on-ball defense by DeVault. Kicks it out, open three, Mountain Home is no good. Offside rebound for Paragool by Giles, and Giles is out of bounds, however. Tough break for Paragool as Caleb Giles had the ball and had the rebound, but his heel was on the line. And so turnover gives it back to Mountain Home. Mountain Home gets it in. 14's Kai Bickford. Over to Luke Proctor. Proctor, ball knocked away. Mountain Home maintains possession. Good aggressive on-ball defense by Paragool. Oh, almost steal by Hall. Mountain Home inside look is knocked away, stolen by Paragool. Hall behind the back, brings it down the timeline for Paragool, across the timeline. Leaves it with Isaiah. Isaiah top of the key, gonna go one-on-one -on -one and he's gonna be fouled as he was grabbed out at the free throw line. Fouls on 33, Braden Dewey of Mountain Home. Hall throws it in. DeVault kicks it back to Isaiah Jackson. Top of the key. Isaiah takes it down. Left-handed shot is good. 
Well, Isaiah Smooth with that move, and he takes it down with the left hand and scores. And Paragul now off to a 10 to 5 lead, and Mountain Home is going to call timeout. And during our timeout here, we're going to have a chance to catch up with one of the stars of the Senior A Girls Contest. And it was a great win for the senior girls tonight. So tell me about tell, tell me about a little bit about tonight's game. And we are speaking with Carson DeFreeze, number one, who had an outstanding game. Carson, how about the uh, girls tonight? What was your assessment of the game tonight? First half, we did really good. We didn't really have many turnovers. And then the second half, I think they came out a lot more stronger. We weren't really ready for that. But we adjusted to it pretty good. We had a few turnovers, but uh, I think we ended it pretty well. We didn't we didn't let it them catch up too much to take over the game. We kept fighting just like they were fighting with us. We're, we're going to get a little bit more from Carson the next time out, but I completely agree with that. And. We're going to get back to action here. We're going to get back to Carson here at the next break. But uh, it's a good win for the Lady Rams, and we'll get a little bit more from her later. But back to action. Paragol's opened up a 10 to 5 lead on Mountain Home. Mountain Home around the perimeter. Cannot make the entry pass. Swing it around the perimeter. Good defense by Duvall. And make sure we close out the three point shooters on the wing. Here's a three point shot right there. No good. Rebound by Caleb Giles. Back comes Paragool. Over to the vault. The vault dumps it down low to Jackson. He's fouled as they're all over his back. And that personal foul is going to be called on Reed Ellison. And it's pretty obvious right now that, first of all, Mountain Home is not a huge team in terms of size. And they're going to have all sorts of difficulty guarding Isaiah, not only on the block, but out front. Here we're going to try to take advantage of that. Gavin Hall, the inbounds for the Rams. Dumps it down to Isaiah Jackson on the block. Spin move. Shot. He's fouled and he scores. Isaiah Jackson off a nice entry pass. And then again, there's just no answer for that from the Mountain Home side as Reed Ellison couldn't do anything but foul. And Isaiah will have a chance for the three point play. Free throw is up and in. Isaiah really played well down in uh, Forest City at the Rumble on the Ridge last week, and as did the team. We played some really quality competition. I think it's going to help. Another good test here this evening. Paragol off to a 13-5 lead, Mountain Home back, and good drive that time by number five, Luke Proctor at Mountain Home, and he's going to get two shots off of a foul on a good drive. So Proctor will go to the line and shoot two. First free throw is up and in. Makes it 13 to 6 in favor of Paragool. Second free throw on its way, and it's also good. 13 7. Rams up by 6. 147 to go in the opening period. Ashton Oaks with the basketball, dribbling on the wing over to Gavin. Hall. Hall looks over to the ball. Hands play with it around the perimeter. He's being patient on offense. Over to Caleb Giles. Caleb gets it inside the Oaks, spins, and then had it knocked away from behind. Put it on the floor in that a dangerous area, and you can get it knocked away, and that's what happened that time. Drive by Proctor is up, and it's good. Nice move by Luke Proctor. And he makes it 13 to 9. Good drive. Rams need to do a little better job on him defensively. Giles gets it in to Oaks. Over to the vault. Open three on the wing is short. And Isaiah Jackson has the rebound knocked out of bounds. And it's going to go off Isaiah. And the ball will go over to Mountain Home. With 52 seconds to go in the first quarter. And Paragool with a four point lead. Home brings it down in no particular hurry. Swing it on the perimeter. Kick it out. There's an open three out of the corner, and it is in and out. No good. Good job by Gavin Hull on the rebound to Isaiah. Jackson brings it down, comes down, and he gets fouled, and it's going to be a three-point play, no doubt about it. And, again, Isaiah Jackson 
what makes him such a unique talent is his ability to put it on the floor and get to the rim and without size on the other side, it's difficult. So Isaiah will have a chance to complete the three-point play and Landon Manning enters for Paragol for the first time as well as Isaac Giles. And with 26 seconds left to play in the first quarter, Isaiah Jackson, free throws too strong. So we'll see if Mountain Home decides to take the last shot of the quarter. We've got 17 seconds left to play. Bigford dribbles the basketball way out front. Good defense by Manning. They kick it across. There's a long three-point shot that's good. It's by number 23, Jax Wesco. And Isaiah Jackson with a three on the other side. Back iron no good. And that will bring the first quarter to an end. And the Paragore Rams lead by a score of 15 to 12. But I think you can see that Mountain Home has got some kids that can uh, put it in the basket. So Paragore with a three-point lead at the end of the first quarter. We're going to go back to Carson DeFries now with some comments about tonight's girls game. And Carson had mentioned something a few minutes ago, and I thought in the first half that offensively we had a really good flow to it. And defensively we played well throughout the whole game. In the third quarter, Mountain Cone came out and they stepped it up a little bit on defense, and we had a little issue there in the third quarter. We weren't quite in the same rhythm. But the one thing throughout was our defense, and our defense made it so hard on them they could never get anything going offensively. How hard do you guys work on that in practice? A good 45 minutes every day. <laughs> I bet. Uh, she has, like, unlimited defensive drills we do, and uh, we do defensive stances for three minutes, and then we'll do it for two minutes, and then we'll do it for one minute, and if everyone's not down, we'll do it all over again. She won't hesitate to make us do it again. Well, the thing about it is you don't have to have a great shooting night every night because if that if you guys play that defense for the entire game, it's going to make it really difficult on other teams to, to execute offensively because the on-ball pressure was great. So, uh, congratulations. And you, you hit some shots from the perimeter, too. Knocked a couple of threes down, if I remember correctly. Yes, sir. All right. Okay, we're back to action here in the boys' game. Mountain Home will put it in play as we start the second quarter. They're down three to Paragul, 15-12. 14, Kai Bickford dribbles the basketball over to Proctor. Luke Proctor looks to three. Got a good, good, good ball handle with him. Around the perimeter. Good on-ball defense by Paragul. Mountain Home. Looks to three, won't take it. Luke Proctor, five with the basketball. Being guarded by Oaks. He's going to take a long three that's no good. It looked good, leaving his hand. The pair go with the rebound, and back comes Isaiah Jackson. Jackson leaves it with Gavin Hall. Back to Isaiah, looks to three, won't take it. Dumps it down to Ashton Oaks, and he travels. Ashton got in a little bit of a hurry that time and picked the pivot foot up and travel, so the turnover will give it back to Mountain Home. Coach Watson yelling instructions. Wants to see the Rams do a little better job on the offensive end. Mountain Home around the screen. Proctor with the basketball. Again, a lot of driving. Home around the perimeter, trying to get some back cuts. Proctor tries to go around the screen, spins, kicks it back. Still a good job defensively by Paragor. Mountain home patient on the offensive end, looking to get an open perimeter shot, looks like. And ball knocked away by Isaiah Jackson out of bounds. And the Mountain Home coach not happy with the officiating. And, and he's getting close to getting teed up if he's not careful. Didn't like the on-ball pressure. Paragul, Manning, good defense. Close to a five count. Good job by Landon defensively. And again, Paragul making it difficult on Mountain Home. Mountain Home's been patient, but they just haven't been able to penetrate the defense. Pass it around the perimeter. Ball knocked away out of bounds. It'll stay with Matt Home. And 
number five, Luke Proctor, will put it in play. We're 5.57 to go in the first half. Paragol leads 15-12. Proctor dribbles the ball. Open three in the corner for Mountain Home is good. And that's Kai Bigford, and you can see what the Mountain Home game plan is. They're going to penetrate, and they're going to set up some shooters outside the three-point line, and they've got some kids that can knock it down. That ties the game at 15. Ashton Oaks is going to be pushed. Foul is going to be on Kai Bickford of Mountain Home. Perigo put it in play on the baseline. Hall gets it out to Giles. He's got a three out of the corner that's an air ball. Mountain Home with a rebound. Back come the Bombers with a chance to take the lead. Jacob McGee gets it over to 14. Bickford. Bickford needs some help. Mountain Home swings it around the perimeter. In, in no big hurry, and they are doing a good job of not turning the ball over and waiting for the open shot. Here comes a drive to the hoop, and it's a good lay-in. I'm going to tell you, Luke Proctor can play. He's a good-looking player. Number five takes it to the hoop, and Mountain Home leads 17-15. Hall, 15-footer, good. Gavin Hall nice knocked down from the free-throw line. Ties it at 17. Again, you can see the Mount Home coach just says, run the offense. Proctor, down a screen. Mount Home around the perimeter. Good on ball defense by Paragool. Mount Home being patient. Here comes. Drive to the hoop, left-handed layup is good by number 14, Kai Bigford. And again, Mountain Home doing a nice job offensively, getting what they want. They got to the rim that time, and they lead by two. Giles to Hall. Hall cross-court press, dangerous pass, but Oaks gets it. Spins. Giles is going to be called for steps. So another turnover for Paragould, and the Rams are a little discombobulated on offense right now, and a couple of substitutions back in play as Jamison DeVault returns as well as Caleb Giles. Mountain home, 3.44 to go in the first half, leads 19-17. Proctor drives, shot, good on the baseline. Luke Proctor. Rams haven't had a very good answer on him so far. Mountain home by four now. Giles, a lot of dribbling. Ball on the floor. Manning down to Oaks. Oaks back to Manning. Manning turns. The ball, Isaiah Jackson. Giles. Oaks takes the three-point shot. In and out, no good. Rebound, Isaiah Jackson, good as nobody boxed him out. And Isaiah had an easy lay in. 21-19, Paragol back within two. 2.59 to go in the first half. Proctor with a dribble. Mountain home around the perimeter. Good motion offense. Get it into Proctor across the right wing. Again, you can see that they're patient on offense around these ball screens and there's a blocking foul and that's going to be an offensive foul as the screener was not set and the offensive foul will give it back over to Paragool as Gavin Hall will return for Paragool replacing Landon Manning and we're down to 2.31 to play in the first half and Paragool has a chance to tie or take the lead with a three down to Oaks on the baseline, Oaks comes up and under is fouled and he'll shoot two Good move by Ashton Oaks. Fouls on 20, Braxton Carson of Mountain Home and to the line shooting two. It'll be Ashton Oaks, 6'2", senior for Paragool. Free throw is up and in. Ashton will have an opportunity to tie the basketball game here at 21. Second free throw is on its way. It's also good. 
2.22 to go. All tied at 21. It's been a good basketball game so far. Lambs are going to have to tighten that defensive end down a little bit. Out and home. Patient on offense. Across the perimeter. Crotcher number five. With it. Leaves it with 23. Harris. And that home. Pretty deliberate. He wants to get the right matchup. Crotcher with a handle. Backs up. Long threes and air ball. That wasn't a very good shot. He wasn't set that time. Isaiah Jackson with a rebound for Paragool to Giles. He'll take an open three. No, it's short. Gets the rebound. Goes back up, and he'll score. Caleb Giles puts his miss back up at in, and the Rams are back up by two, 23-21, with a minute 28 to go in the first half. Very competitive game so far here from Doc Painter Court. Good dribble drive by Mountain Home, cut off by Isaiah Jackson. Proctor in the deep corner, guarded by Oates. Penetrates, takes the shot, good. 15-footer is good by Luke Proctor. Ties it at 23. Here's a three out of the deep wing. No good by Gavin Hall. Rebound to Mountain Home. Mountain Home on the run. And Paragould really doesn't have to settle for threes. They really need to take advantage of Isaiah Jackson's height inside and be a little bit more patient on offense. Because they do have an advantage there. Proctor and Mountain Home which almost looks like a four-corner type offense. And now they're going to call a foul on DeVault with a push. With 26 seconds left in the half, and Mountain Home probably going to try to take the last shot. Mountain Home gets it in play, 26 seconds. Proctor's got it. Good. He's got a good handle to him. He keeps the ball low. Close to a five-second count. That's really looked like a five-second count to me. And the ball knocked away with five seconds. Perigo's got a chance to score. Giles goes down, lays it in at the end of the first half. Nice play defensively by Perigold, and Perigold's able to Get a lay-in at the buzzer with about a second to go in the first half, and they'll take a two-point lead into halftime. But that time, Luke Proctor got caught a little too much with a dribble, and Paragould's able to defend and get the turnover and take a two-point lead. A couple things. We're going to finish up now with one of the stars of the uh, Senior A Girls Contest tonight um, for Paragould, who just had an outstanding game. And, Carson, defer, uh, excuse me. Uh, I get it right. I'm going to get it right here shortly. But it's Carson. I, was, I thought I had the wrong one. But anyway, Carson DeFreeze had an outstanding game, and we're going to get a little bit more from her as you watch some of our spirit groups here at halftime. But uh, talk a little bit about where you think you guys are as a team right now and where you are trying to go as we get ready for conference play that will start here after the holidays. I think we're uh, – this summer, we've all, like, learning each other. We're still learning each other, and we're all really pretty young. So uh, I think we need to get a little bit stronger because we're kind of weak in those areas when they start pressuring us. I think we kind of freak out a little bit. So I think we just need to get under control. And we're still early in the season, so mm -hmm. we have a while before conference. But I think we'll get there. We do. We have a squad that has only, I think, eight players. Um, so, obviously, you guys are going to have to be in good shape because we don't have a long bench to go to, and we're going to need to try to stay out of foul trouble as well. But how do you guys approach each game? Obviously, you play good defensively, but what are you trying to get accomplished offensively? What is it What is it you, you really try to get accomplished on the offensive end? Well, we're not very big, so we're not going to be able to post up every time. So, it's if you're open, shoot, like, if you're not like the best shooter on the team, it doesn't matter. You don't be selfish and not take the open shot. And uh, she wants us to attack, draw the foul, get to the free throw line, so we can build the confidence up to shoot outside. Yes, sir. 
One final question. Looking ahead to the conference, who are some of the teams in the conference that you think are going to be the biggest challenges? I think the biggest challenge is going to be Jonesboro. I mean, they won state last year, so I think they're our number one competition. Well, I'll tell you what, if you girls continue to play hard defense like that, you're going to be in every game, and it was a lot of fun to watch you play tonight. So congratulations to Carson DeFries. She's our player of the game tonight, and uh, thanks for stopping by and visiting with me tonight, and good luck in the next few games. Thank you. Thanks. Carson DeFries helping to lead the Lady Rams to a victory tonight in the opening contest as the Lady Rams won 41-21. And Back to halftime here is the Paragol Rams lead 25-23. We're going to turn it over to our spirit groups for a few minutes, and we'll be back with you prior to the start of the third quarter, everybody.
And we're back with you with about a minute to go before the start of the second half. Again, our halftime score is Paragol 25, Mountain Home 23. In what has been a very competitive ball game. And Paragol got off to a good start and was able to take advantage of the height of Isaiah Jackson down low. Mountain Home really responded well. And I don't have the stats. But I know that uh, number five, Luke Proctor, was a big factor for Mountain Home in the first half offensively. He's a 6'3", 160-pound shooting guard, and he's got a good stroke. If you let him set his feet, he is a good-looking shooter, and he made a couple of nice moves and a good baseline shot. And Paragul had a couple of turnovers and really going to have to lock down defensively a little bit and a couple of times got in a little bit of a hurry on the offensive end but made a key steal with about five seconds left to go in the first half and was able to take it down and lay it in prior to the buzzer. And so we will enter the third quarter with a two-point lead. And Paragold will put it in play in that side court as we begin the third quarter. Gavin Hall will throw it in. Jamison DeVault. And here we go. And here comes the – oh, it's an alley-oop pass. It's going to be a dunk attempt, but Isaiah – Jackson caught it and was able to go back and lay it in. Nice play right off the inbounds of the second half. So Perigo up for 30, 27-23. See if Perigo makes any adjustments defensively. Mountain home again, patient around the perimeter. Rams in a good man defense. Rogers got the basketball. Ty Bickford inside. 
Spin move, shot is partially blocked. Nice job defensively by Caleb Giles. Giles gets it. Cross court pass to Gavin Hall in the corner. Back to Jackson. Jackson over to Giles. Giles in the corner to the ball. Back to Giles, cross court, Hall. He'll take the three point shot, no good. And the rebound with Mountain Home. High big for the basketball down near the timeline, guarded by Duvall. Over to Proctor. 11 to Reed Ellison. 33 Dewey. Proctor has it on the baseline. Guarded by Oaks. Picked up his dribble. Good mountain home patient on offense, not in any hurry, trying to get a good shot. Rams need to stick with the D. Entry pass. Leave it. There's an open three for Mountain Home. It's no good, and Isaiah Jackson with the rebound. Isaiah down to Oaks. Back to Giles. Over to the vault. Back to Giles. Hall, entry pass to Oaks. Back to Giles. Top of the key. Giles to the vault. Won't take the three. Swings it over to Hall. Hall down to Oaks on the baseline. Spin move. Goes up and under. Layup is, oh, just short. Good move, just couldn't finish. Proctor with it. Good defense by Oaks. 30, excuse me, 27-23. Rams by four. 5.30 to go in the third quarter. Down home. Around the perimeter. Rams hanging tough on D. Entry pass, Proctor has it, turns, scores. You get it to him on the low block, and he's tough. 27-25, Mountain Home. Entry pass, and that wasn't a good entry pass, and it's stolen. Back comes Mountain Home. And the layup is good, and Mountain Home now has tied it. Graham's a little sloppy on the offensive end, and Mountain Home makes him pay. Hall. Over to Duvall, to Hall, over to Giles. Rams a little stagnant offensively right now. Hall over to Giles. Still take the long three-point shot, no good. Jackson with the rebound is going to be tied up, I think. And let's see on the alternating arrow, I believe it's going to go to Mount Hunt. We're actually going to have a timeout on the floor. 30-second timeout for Paragool. And again, Paragool's got some advantages and really doesn't have to settle for the long threes. And if they're not going in, it's tough. But we're going to go down to the sidelines. Here's Christian. So far in the third quarter, Isaiah Jackson's putting on a clinic, has 17 of the 27 points. It is a tied ball game at the moment, though, 27-27. We are currently in a battle for the moment. This is an exciting game that we're all excited to watch. Let's keep going, Paragool. All right, got to keep the students fired up down there. They're going to put in play on the side. Hall gets the basketball. Giles. At home playing the zone defense. Over to Giles. To Hall. Over to DeVault. Oaks. Up to DeVault. Gets it over to Giles. Good entry pass to Oaks. Travels on the baseline and goes up and missed a shot. It's a couple of times we just haven't been able to finish down low and Mountain Home gets the rebound. Out home a chance to take the lead. Ellison has the basketball. Out to Dewey. Carson. There's Proctor. 
home in no hurry. Roger. And that home will get the wing. They try to go down, can't. Proctor makes a move. We've got to stop that penetration. Mountain Home can't take advantage of that, and they still are very patient on offense. 2.58 to go third quarter, 27 apiece. Rams have their hands full and more right now. So Isaiah almost had that pass deflected. Cross court pass, that was a bad look. Isaiah Hall, excuse me, Hall gets it. And the layup is missed, but a good rebound. Kicks it back out, Paragol across. Rams need to take advantage of some of these situations. Hall takes the long three, here he goes. Gavin Hall knocks a three down and the Rams really needed that. Mountain home coach is pretty vocal across the way. That was a big shot by Gavin, we really needed that one. So Rams up three. And we got a timeout on the floor with 2.27 to go in the third quarter. It's been difficult for Paris. What just happened? Twenty-seven on the clock. Thirty to twenty-seven. Rams by three off that last three by Gavin Hall. And Mountain Home to put it in play in the back court. Proctor now at the free throw line extended. The defense by Oaks. Around the perimeter. Giles. Oh, by sort of not a good look that time. And then Perigal turns it right back over. Oaks with a turnover. And again, Perigal really needs to take advantage. We get a steal, and then we just turn it right back over. We're getting a little bit too big of a hurry. Mountain Home will put it in play on the baseline. Hard time getting it in. They throw it out long. Paragol is still pretty good pressure defensively. 155 to go third quarter. Bigford. Dewey. Inside look. Proctor dumped down. That's a nice play. Boy, that was a nice look by Proctor and a good cut. And Mount Home gets a layup. Well structured offense. 30 to 29. Paragol by one. They dump it down to Oaks, down to Isaiah. Isaiah missed the shot. He had, took a little bit of a rush there. Mountain home now, a chance to take the lead. On the perimeter, good drive and a good score. That time, Kai Bigford beat his man off the dribble and got into the paint and Mountain Home is retaking the lead 31-30. And a near steal. Rams just look a little out of sync right now offensively. Just not a great flow to it. Hopefully we can get settled down a little bit. The ball with the basketball. Over to Giles. Giles back to the vault. To Giles. Now he penetrates in the paint, little 10-footer good. Nice move by Caleb Giles as he took advantage of the seam in the defense and penetrated and made a nice little 10-footer. Paragol back on top, 32-31 with 28 seconds to go in the third quarter. They get the ball to Proctor. Proctor dribbles, takes a 15-footer, good. 
He's a handful. Boy, he's one of the better players I've seen so far early in the season. Mountain home back on top, 33-32, seven seconds left. Let's see if the Rams can score before half. Giles down low, Oaks had it blocked, had a point blank shot and had it blocked out of bounds. Perigo's gonna throw it in with 1.2 left. And they get it inside, Oaks is it, got the layup to go. Beautiful inbounds play, and Paragool got Oaks wide open underneath and got a couple of screens and did a nice job on the inbounds play as they sort of steal one there at the end of the third quarter, and they take a one-point lead, 34-33, at the end of the third quarter. So, again, competitive game. So we're going to go down to Christian. Going into the fourth quarter, Ashton Oaks just had a great – up with one second left. It was awesome. He was wide open. Isaiah Jackson is still at 17, and we are up 34-33. Going into this fourth, it is a very tight game, full of emotions from the fans and the players, and we're seeing what we can do in this fourth. Stay tuned, Paracord Rams. All right, we will. Spirit groups on the floor for Paragool. Buzzer sounds, and we're just about ready to start the fourth quarter, and it looks like this one might go down to the wire. Ram fans. Mountain Hunt will put it in play on the side to begin the fourth quarter. Kai Bigford with the ball. 20 is Braxton Carson. Carson being guarded by Hogg, and he beats his man off the dribble and scores. Braxton Carson able to take Gavin Hall down and beat him to the spot and lays it in and has a three-point opportunity. Carson's free throw is good. Mount home by two, 36-34. Third goal around the perimeter. Cross court pass to Hall. Back to Giles. Giles to Duvall, to Giles. Open three. In and out, no good. And that's going to be a foul over the top on Ashton Oaks. And Mountain Home will put it in play in the backcourt. Up two, 7.15 to go. Rams need a little energy here. Mountain Home's taking it to us a little bit. Proctor goes down, shot good, three-point of play opportunity. And right now, Mountain Home is executing extremely well on offense, and Paragol's a little bit flat-footed defensively. And we've got a timeout. Mountain Home with some momentum, up 30, 6-34. With Proctor at the line for one as we come back. And so let's go back to Christian. We get those students fired up down there. What put now down, 34-38. Currently in a little bit of a pit. Going to have to make our way out of it, but very doable. This is a very, very good game at the moment. Well, Mountain Home is currently taking the lead. With got two and one from the last two goals they made. But coming up, Hagel Rams are going to make a furious fight, and they're going to make, and they're going to come back on this. We got Believe, fans, God believe. Here we come. Actually, uh, as we come back to play, Mount Home now leads 38 34 with a chance to go up by five. And at the line is 
Luke Proctor, and he knocks it down. So the Rams are down five with about seven minutes to go in the game, so let's see what we got here. Now the home sets up in the zone. Get it down low to Oaks. Oaks spins, turn, shot, short. Rebound, Mountain Home. Proctor beats the man off the dribble, lays it in. And Proctor has just worn us out on the dribble drive. We have not stopped him with the ball in his hand, and he has beat us to the rim several times. 41-34, Mountain Home taking control of the game here in the fourth quarter. Inside to Oaks. Rams again kind of standing around right now. Entry pass, and that's going to be a hold on Mountain Home. Again, the Rams just off the ball look a little uh, a little lethargic. So let's see if we can get it going here. Entry pass to Oaks. Oaks turns, spins, lay up good. Ashton Oaks makes a nice little move. And that makes it 41-36. Mountain home by five, 5.59 to go. Mountain home. Throws it around the perimeter. There's an open shot in the corner. Good. Three-point shot out of the corner, and Mountain home leads 44-36. And again, they are really good stationary shooters. Rams didn't close out. Giles. Here comes a three-point shot. No good by Perigold. Giles with a rebound goes up and lays it in. Players got kind of tangled up there and underneath the basket, but no big deal. And now Perigold's going to bring in Nelson McCaney, 15, and Hall is going to, excuse me, Gavin Hall will take a seat. 44-38, Mountain Home by six, 5.20 to go. Mountain Home dribbles around the perimeter. Got some good cutters. Get it in the post. And let's see, they're going to call a foul on Isaiah Jackson, I believe. A little push. Fourth team foul for Paragool. Mountain Home will put it in play on the baseline. Open three for Mountain Home is an air ball. Paragool with an opportunity now. McCaney's got the ball over to DeVault. McCaney over to Giles. Giles to Oaks. Giles. Giles looks for three, doesn't take it. Back to McCaney, penetrates inside. Oaks got it. Oaks takes a little 10-footer. He got fouled, and it counts. He got hit on the arm. And big basket by Perigol. Oaks knocks it down and had a chance for the three-point play, and that brings Perigol back within four with 4.35 to go in the fourth quarter. And Mountain Home calls timeout. So it's a full timeout. Again, really competitive game. Paragould comes into tonight's game, four and two. Mountain Home giving us all we can handle and more. Let's go back to the students. Welcome back, Paragould Ram fans. The score is now 40 to 44. We got down to a decimal point, but we're back up and we're on a roll. Ashton Oaks is stepping up for his team. We gotta have more people step for up for our team right now. They're currently doubling Isaiah Jackson and other people to step up and put the ball in the basket. We gotta get a few stops on defense and we're good. We'll see how this goes. See you, Perry Ram fans. And we are back to play. Ashton Oaks will have a chance to complete the three-point play. Perigol trails by four. 44 to 40, 4.35 to play. Free throw is good. Rams back within three, and now we're going to force the tempo a little bit. We're going to put a little pressure on the backcourt. The 
ball. It looks like he stung his ankle just a little bit. I think he's going to be okay. Not home. Down the screen. He's going to take a shot. Elbow is good. 14. Kai Bigford. And again, these kids can shoot it. And if you don't take them off the dribble quickly, you're in trouble. And it's 46 41. Down home sitting back in that zone. Now we're going to go down. Lob pass is no good, but there's going to be a foul calling a push. And that's going to go against Mountain Home. And Isaiah Jackson is going to go to the line and shoot two. First free throw is good. Gavin Hall returns for Paragol, replacing Jamison DeVault. Three throw on its way, and it's good. Isaiah knocks two down, and that brings Paragol back within three, with 3.53 to go in the game. Paragol with backcourt pressure. Good on ball defense by McCaney. And the ball taken away. And Hall is fouled in the backcourt. And he should get a two-shot opportunity there. Now they're going to call it on the floor, but that really prevented a, a basket. And Perigold wants timeout. So... Coach Watson wants to set something up offensively as Perigol has the ball down three, 46-43, 3.39 to play in the contest. As Christian says, let me have some more of it. 46-43, Mountain Home is currently on top for three minutes, 39 seconds left of the fourth as getting down to the wire, folks. Getting down to the wire. We just got a big stop on defense by the Gavin Hall. And we're, hey, we're about to do real good, folks. About to come back and make this a Paragol Ram victory. And we can do it. And it's right on the fingertips, folks. Be ready and be excited for this one. Both teams coming out of the huddle. Paragol will have the ball on the side. Again, we're in the fourth quarter, 3.39 to play. Mountain Home 46, Paragol 43. From Doc Painter Court, it's been a really good ball game. Paragol now, McKinney over to Hall. Dangerous pass, Hall's gonna take the three, it's good! Gavin Hall ties the game at 46 with a three-point shot. And now the Rams put pressure on in the backcourt. And that's got the fans energized a little bit. Mountain home. Has it. Proctor dribbling the ball. Going to take it. Good defense. Kicks it out. Everyone needs good on-ball defense. Stay with it. Inside three minutes to play. Nowhere to go. Close to a five count, and that is a five count. Turnover. Good defensive pressure by Paragool. Mountain Home got stuck with it, and Ty Bickford had nothing to do with it. And five-second call. Paragool's got a chance to take the lead now. 2.45 to play. That three by Hall was a big shot. Sort of re-energized everybody. Giles. Need some help over to Hall. Rams kind of standing again. Need to move that ball. Hall penetrates, kicks it to McCainy. McCainy penetrates in the paint, kicks it over to Giles. Giles penetrates, leaves it with McCainy. McCainy penetrates, goes down and missed the layup. Back comes Mountain Home. And we've got a whistle and a foul on Paragool and a push on Isaiah Jackson. 
15 foul, so it's not going to cost us. Perry had an opportunity, just could not close that deal. Two ten to play. Mountain Home has it. Game is tied at 46. Down the screen. Proctor's got it open. 15-footer. Good. Luke Proctor is a smooth basketball player. Mountain Home back up two. Jackson in the corner. Needs help. Back to Giles. We're inside two minutes now. Minute 40 to play. Rams need to answer. Giles back to McCainy. Over to Giles. Looks to three. Doesn't take it. Rams around the perimeter. Back to Giles. Giles penetrates. McCainy. Back to Giles. Rams a little stagnant now. Still around the perimeter, We're down to 117 to play in a turnover. That's a critical turnover. And Mountain Home comes back down and missed the layup in Paragool. Had the rebound, but they're going to call the foul on the shot. And again, Paragool. No, actually, I take that back. Well, no, it is. The foul's on Paragool, so Mountain Home's going to shoot two. Reed Ellison will shoot two at the line, and the first one's good. Second free throw is also good. And Mountain Home now leads by four, 50 to 46. And we're now down to minute 10. That turnover was crucial. Paragul, long three-point shot. Hall's good. He answers. Gavin Hall knocks a three from way out there. And Paragul back within one with 57 seconds left to play. And we've got another timeout on the floor. Gavin Hall knocked a three down from 20, who knows how many feet. And Perigol back within one with 57 seconds left. So that keeps the Rams in the game. Oh my goodness! We're back up! 49-50, Perigol Rams down by one. Go down, score, and it's our game to take power of gold. This is it. Coming down to the wire. Less than a minute. This game is ours. It's ours. We got this power of gold. Let's do this. Come on, players. Let's do this for everyone. Ready to resume play. Mount Home will have it on the end line. And here we go. Paragol down one. 57 seconds left. Pressure in the backcourt. Mount Home puts it in play. Paragol gets some pressure. Mount Home needs some help. And close to the 10 second line, they just got it over. Mount Home. Double team. That's a foul on McCainy. And I don't want to foul five. So, number five, Luke Proctor will go to the line. Free throw, nothing but the bottom. I was really surprised we fouled Proctor there. He's the guy that I would want to keep off the line. And he knocks the free throw down. And knocks them both down. So Mountain Home back by three, 52, 49, 38 seconds left to play. Hall over to Giles, to DeVault, over to Gavin Hall. Gavin's going to take the three. No good. Rebound, no, and that's going to be a foul on Mountain Home as they hail Jackson down low. And so, Paragould will have it in play on the baseline. We've got 27 seconds left to play. Mountain home by three. Hall to inbound it. Needs some help. And he's going to have to call timeout. 
Paragol a little stagnant there, uh, moving away from the ball and Mount Home forces us to call timeout with 27.8 left to play and Mount Home up 52 to 49. It's been a heck of a ball game. And I'm really impressed with Mountain Home. They physically don't look like the most dominant team, but they're very skilled, and they've got some kids that know what to do with the basketball, and they're well coached. And they have played well tonight to come on the road over here to Paragould and then have a three-point lead with 27 seconds left to play. So it's going to be interesting to see what the offensive approach is from Coach Watson, if they're going to try to set the three-point shot up or if they're going to try to take a two and foul. But if you foul, I don't want to foul five. Here we go to throw it in on the baseline. Get it inbounds. Giles over to DeVault. Back to Hall. DeVault's going to take the three. In and out. No good. Rebound. Mountain home. Ball on the floor and a foul. And with 15 seconds left to go, Mountain home will have an opportunity to make this a two-possession game with free throws. Perigal just unable to knock that three down. And one and one at the line for number 14, Kyle Bigford of Mountain Home. Free throw is on its way. It's no good, so Perigold still got a shot. 15 seconds left. Perigold down three. Hall over to Giles. He's going to take a long three. It's an air ball. And it goes to Mountain Home. That was way, way, way out there. Seven seconds left. Mountain Home puts it in play on the baseline. They get it in bounds to Proctor. That's the guy you want to have the ball, and Perigold has to foul him. So, again, that's just a well-coached play by Mountain Home because they get the kid that they want to shoot free throws to the line, and Perigold unable to defend that. And Mountain Home, if they can knock a couple of free throws down here, is going to be in pretty good shape. Proctor at the line, free throw, in and out, no good. Five seconds left, Perigo's going to need a three to tie. Hall from 40 feet, it's good! No way! The game winner by Gavin Hall! Opportunity, three-point basket, and he'll have a chance to win it for Perigo. Oh, my goodness! Gavin Hall from 40 feet banks it in and is fouled. Wow. You can't make that up. Paragul gets a break on the miss. Free throw comes down and Gavin Hall from dead away, 35, 40 feet, banks it in and got fouled. And he will have a chance to win the game. No pressure, Gavin. Wow. Unbelievable. At, that's one of the great shots I've seen in this gym. That's That ranks right up there. Unbelievable. So Gavin Hall is going to go to the line. He's got one free throw and a chance to win it for Paragol. If he misses it, we'll play some more ball. So Paragol is going to have to get their players back on the court. But this is all about Gavin Hall. Free throw to win the game. Easy money. He can do it. Oh, back rim. Wow. So we're going to play overtime. 
Wow. Unbelievable. But Gavin Hall did the impossible and at least got this thing to overtime with a three-point shot from the P that banked in, and he was fouled. And so, unbelievable. We're going to work on the instant replay, though. It's coming. So we're going to play overtime. And I tell you, Perigo's got to have the momentum because Mountain Home was in a position to win the game. They were three up, missed the front end, and Perigo came down and hit an impossible shot to tie it and actually had a chance to win it. But Gavin Hall missed the free throw at the very end. So we're going to play overtime. Four-minute overtime. And Perigo gets the opening tip. Gavin Hall with the basketball. Across the screen. He's going to take a long three. No good. Might have forced that one a little bit. Mountain home. Back the other way. Get down on the post. Good post move. Shot off the glass is good. Nice shot by Braden Dewey. And he took it to Isaiah that time and scored off the glass. Paragol down two. Oaks back to Giles. Giles dribbles inside to Oaks. Takes it up. Goes up and under. Takes the layup and makes it. Ashton Oaks with a nice move inside and that ties it at 54. 304 to play in the overtime. Proctor with the basketball for Mountain Home. Good defense. Mountain Home. Looks for help. Good defense by Paragool. Mountain Home around the perimeter. Proctor's got the basketball. 239 left in overtime. Game tied at 54. Mountain Home. Very deliberate. Proctor with the ball. And we've got a foul. Don't need those fouls away from the basketball. That's because you do two things. You give their best player a chance to shoot free throws. So foul on Paragul and Proctor goes to the line for two. Free throw is good. Second free throw, also good. Don't put five on the line. That's the, that's the coach in you. Pierre go down two with the ball. Giles needs help. Back to Hall. Over to Giles. Giles dumps it down to Oaks. Oaks on the block. Turn, spin, shot is no good. Oaks gets his own rebound. And he gets blocked inside. Ball on the floor. Mountain Home has it in the corner, and they come out with it. Mountain Home two on one. Good lead. Layup good. Nice play. Good dish. And Dewey scores. And Mountain Home by four now with a minute 50 to play. Back the other way. Hall goes down, and it's going to be a block. Paragol a little fortunate there. Good drive, but almost a charge there. So Hall will go back to the free throw line, and he'll have two with a minute 44 to play. And Paragul down four in overtime. And I believe that's five fouls on Dewey, who fouled out. Free throws. All at the line. Free throws up. Good. 
144 to play. Shot is good. Nice job by Gavin knocking those two down. Perigo back within two, 58-56. Nelson McKinney returns for Perigo replacing Hall. Mountain Home will throw it in on the baseline. Need some help, they get it in bounds. Perigo's got to have a good defensive trip here. Minute 38 to play. Around the perimeter. Proctor's got it on the baseline. Goes double team. Leaves it inside. Ball knocked away and stolen, but Mountain Home able to kick back. Ball's on the floor, and Mountain Home has it, and they call timeout. Perigold had a shot at it, but just couldn't come up with the ball. And we've got a minute 19 left to play, and Mountain Home will put it in play on the side, up to 58-56. Back to Christian. We took this game to an overtime thriller back for the Rams. One minute left for overtime, and it is 56 58. Mountain Home is up by two. We're looking for another comeback. Possible we did it at the end of the fourth, and we're going to do it again. Paragord Rams, stay watching this one. We're all on our heels. Our anxiety is our roof. We are excited. We are pumped up. And we are ready to take home a win! We do want to take home the win. We're going to have to play really, really well here in the last 119. Been a heck of a game. Mountain Home has it on the side. They're up two. Home gets it in. Dribble around. Proctor's got it. Goes down. Gets it, kicks it out in the corner. Mount home dribbling outside the three-point line. Down to a minute. Mount home's not in any hurry. Proctor's got it on the baseline now. Goes up, and he's missed the shot. Big miss. Giles with the rebound to McKaney. Perigold's got it down to 48 seconds left to play in the first overtime. McKaney's got the basketball over there. We're going to do the alley-oop, and it, oh, it, in and out of the hands of Jackson, and Mountain Home comes out with it. And a foul in the backcourt. Perigold had a chance, but we just could not complete that alley-oop. Mountain Home will shoot free throws. And the guy that you don't want at the line is shooting him. Number five, Luke Proctor. Free throw is good. He is just smooth. He's a really nice player. Hall back in the game for Perigo, replacing McKinney. Second free throw is, this one's off, no good. So Perigo still... Only down three with 32 seconds left. Let's we'll see if we got some more magic in on the offensive side. Perigold needs three to tie. Hall's got it. Back to the vault. Needs some help. Get it to Giles. Get it to Hall. He's going to take a long three. No good. Fight for the rebound on the floor. Jackson's got it for Hall. He's going to take another three. It's no good. Jackson's got the rebound with eight seconds left. The vault. Over to Giles, he'll take the three. Good! One second left, and that is it. We're going to play second overtime. Unbelievable. Wow, let's see here. First of all, Mountain Home, I think, called timeout after the basket, so they may put a second or two back on the clock. Let's see. I think that's what's going to happen. That's what the Mountain Home coach was really upset about is I think they called timeout after the basket. And I think that's what they are wanting is an opportunity to maybe have a second or two left on the clock. The officials are discussing it. The three-point shot by Giles tied it. That's unbelievable because that's two long threes to keep us in the game. And let's see now what the discussion is. I, I think that's what 
Mount Holmes complaint is is that the clock ran out and they actually had called timeout with time left remaining. So they're going to run the clock down, I'm assuming probably to one or two seconds left. Two point four is I believe what they're gonna put back on the clock. Mountain Home has called the timeout. Two point four on the clock. Game is tied at fifty nine. So Mountain Home, the thing here for Paragles, you obviously don't want to foul. If they're gonna beat you and have them make a long shot. Here we go. Ball to inbounds. And ball is deflected, and it's going to go out of bounds, and it's going to stay with – it looked like that might have gone off Mountain Home. But Mountain Home's going to put it in play. They're going to keep it at Mountain Home. I thought it was deflected off of Mountain Home, and Perigo would have had a shot. But nonetheless, here comes Mountain Home with 1.2 left. Looks to throw it in. They throw the lob pass, intercepted by Jackson. And we're going to play a second overtime. Good job by Isaiah to intercept that pass. And we are going to play a second overtime with this game tied at 59. And Perigol has hit two threes. One from the P and the other from the S and Rams that have kept this game alive. Unbelievable. 59-59, we're going to play a second OT. And I hope this is entertaining you guys if you're watching this as much as it is us. But, man, what a basketball game here tonight. There's no more drama on TV anywhere than what we got right here at Doc Painter Court. As we're going to play a second overtime. The game tied at 59. Paragould has just not quit, and Mount Home kids have played their hearts out too. So we will have a jump ball to begin the overtime session. Mountain Home pretty much is going to concede the tip to Isaac Jackson. And he tried to steal it, and they didn't get away with it. Proctor tried to hit it right out of the, out of the official's hands, but Perigol has it. Giles looks at the three, doesn't take it. Perigol really would love to get the lead here and put some pressure on. Mountain Home, and it's a steal. Giles lost it. Back comes Proctor with it. Proctor. And he walked, and they called. They got it. It's good defense. He, he traveled. Turnover back to Paragool. But, again, Paragool needs to not turn that ball over. We need to get a good shot. 3.30 to go. Second overtime. Game tied. Inside Oaks. Spins. A little 10-footer. Good. There we go. Ashton Oaks knocks down the 10-footer, and Paragool leads 61-59. to 3.15 to play in overtime number two. Proctor with the basketball number five for Mountain Home. In the corner, open three, Mountain Home. In and out, no good. Giles with the rebound. Here comes Hall. Hall, slow it down, and they do. Rams up two now, need a good possession, 2.55. Giles with it. Over to DeVault. DeVault over to Giles. To Hall. Looks to three. Doesn't take it. Back to Giles. Over to DeVault. Rams inside. Throw it away. Weren't ready for the interior pass there. And Rams turn it over. 2.30 to play. Bigford with it. Mountain home, kicks it out, Proctor. Guarded by Jackson, 2.17 to play. Proctor's gonna take a long three, no good. 
Paragul with the rebound. That was a long shot in and out, and Paragul now with a chance to build on this two-point lead. Two minutes to play in the second overtime. DeVault to Oaks. Back to DeVault. DeVault spins, gets it to Oaks. Back to Gavin Hall. Gavin needs some help. Gets it over to Giles. Giles penetrates. Back to Hall. Down to a minute 37 to play. Giles with the basketball. Being double team, and he's fouled. On a reach by Kai Big for number 14, and Caleb Giles will go to the free throw line for Paragul with 133 to play in the second overtime, and Paragul leading 61-59. And Giles will shoot one and one. Need to knock the freebies down. Free throw is up. Got it. Caleb knocks the free throw down. Second free throw upcoming. Shot. In and out, no good. Paragol up three, a minute 30 to play. Mountain home back the other way. Crowd yelling defense. Proctor's got the ball way out front, penetrates. Good stop, ball's on the floor, almost taken away. Mountain home still in possession, a minute 10 to play. Good defense by Paragul. Mountain Home swings it around the perimeter. They had a good drive and the layup, no good. Where Jackson's got the rebound. And he is fouled in the backcourt. And Paragul will be shooting free throws. We have 57 seconds left to play in the second overtime. Your Paragol Rams 62, the Mountain Home Bombers 59. And Paragol will be at the line as we come out of the timeout. Wow, what a basketball game tonight. Here on the Paragol Rams Sports Network, PRSN. Search us on YouTube. If you're looking for the game, it is not under the Ram channel anymore. It's under the Paragol Rams Sports Network. So if you are on YouTube, Search for Paragol Ram Sports Network. You'll find it, and that is where we are going to have all of the athletic contests moving forward. So number four, Isaiah Jackson, will be at the free throw line and a chance to build on a three-point Paragol lead here in the second overtime. Isaiah will have a one-and-one. Shot. Good. Isaiah drains it. 63-59. Isaiah can give Paragol a five-point lead. Shot. Good. Nothing but the bottom. Way to go, Isaiah. 64-59. Paragol needs to play tough defense now. 57 seconds left. Mountain home. Comes the other way. Down to 50 seconds left. Good defense by Hall. They get it across. Good penetration stop. Good defense by Paragol, making it harder on Mountain Home. Long three-point shot is no good. Off the back of the rim, Giles with a rebound for Paragol. And he runs into his own man, Jackson, but fortunately Paragol able to keep it in play and a grab in the backcourt, and Jamison Duvall will shoot free throws. Caleb Giles and Isaiah Jackson just ran into each other on the other end. So Jamison DeVault now has two free throws for Paragol, leading 64 to 59. 31 seconds left to play in the second overtime. And DeVault will shoot two. Free throw, good. Mountain Home's gonna substitute number three, Tyler Podwoski in the game. He's probably a three-point shooter. Big opportunity here at Paragol to make this a three-possession game. Free throw, good. 66-59, 31 seconds left. 
Paragul needs to play solid D. Back comes Mountain Home. Long three-point shot. No good. Paragul the rebound. Giles has got it. Leaves it with Gavin Hall. Gavin Hall leaves it with Giles. 19 seconds left. Giles over to Devald. Devald over to Gavin Hall. Gavin Hall splits the double team. Nine seconds left. Paragul's going to win it. They get it down to Jackson for the dunk. And Isaiah finishes it with a foul. Oh, my. Isaiah Jackson off the feet, throws it down. And he'll shoot one. And that is going to be almost the end of the bad game. Wow. Isaiah Jackson. We've got five seconds left. The clock continued to run after Isaiah threw it down. He couldn't hear anything in here. Wow. Let's see. The officials are going to have to put the time back on the clock, and the score table had a difficult time and didn't stop the clock on the foul, and I think there were five some odd seconds left. I think they're going to put 5.3 on the clock. And Zaya with a three-point play opportunity knocks it down. And with five seconds left, Mountain Home brings it in play, and they're just going to dribble it out. And I'm telling you, what a great high school basketball game. And I tell you, Paragool somehow wins the game and credit to our kids but Mountain Home played their hearts out and that's a good basketball team that's a well coached team and it took two spectacular shots one by Gavin Hall and the other by Giles for this thing to get into the second overtime and in the second overtime Paragul took control and even though the game finishes 69-59 no way was this a 10 point game and one of the more entertaining high school basketball games I've seen in here in a long time. And a credit to the Perigo kids who earned the victory and did not quit. And that will push the Perigo record up to five and two on the season. So stay with us. I think we're going to have a chance to visit with a couple of the kids after the game, and hopefully we can do that because it was a tremendous game. So. Again, your final score from Paragul in two overtimes. Paragul 69, Mountain Home 59. Stay with us for a few minutes, and we'll uh, have a little bit more for you in the post game. We good? All right. Ram fans, take a deep breath. 69-59 in what was one of the most entertaining high school games I've seen in a long time. And the competition was outstanding. Got to tip your cap to Mountain Home. They came in here with a good game plan. They've got some skilled kids. Proctor is an excellent player. We had a hard time shutting him down. But we made two incredible shots to get the game into overtime. And Gavin Hall hits one from the P. And uh, Giles hit one from the S down here. And uh, But I tell you, it was a great team effort. And we're going to visit with Ashton Oaks, who played a big part in tonight's win. Had a bunch of nice post moves down at the, at the goal. And uh, Ashton, what are your thoughts after that? Tough game, and I'm glad that we could pull it through. 
man, but, you know, we pulled it off. Talk a little bit about uh, what your – it looked like in the first half we, we weren't quite in sync, but we made a key play right before the end of the first half to get a steal about half court and went in with the lead at halftime. What did you guys talk about at halftime? You know, we just talked about how we needed to play better defense and try to keep five from the rack. We talked about how we needed to rebound, and then we just needed to do our thing on offense instead of trying to force it. Yeah, I think that we – it looked like at times we had a couple of careless turnovers here and there, but for the most part we were able to stay within the offense and talk a little bit about how do you stay in the game. They, they seemed to lead in the fourth quarter four, five, six points, but we never did go away, and we got a little bit of a break. They missed the front end of a one-and-one, and, one and we come down, and then what, what happened in the situation where – Hall hits the shot from the P. You know, it was just a crazy <laughs> shot. <It> just <laughs> happened some games, and we got lucky that it did for us twice. Uh, Keith Crook's a friend of mine. He never made a shot from the P in practice, uh, and that, none of us did either. But, uh, you know, Gavin had a chance to, to win the game. We missed a free throw, but your heads didn't get down. Hey, we, that's a tough free throw. Nobody's on the line. And, hey, we got to play another, another overtime. What was the talk in the huddle at the end of the first overtime going to the second overtime? You know, we just we talked about how we just needed to get it done and win the game instead of just playing around with them, playing to their level. We needed to just go and beat them. Thoughts about Kyle Proctor. To me, he was an outstanding player. I, I, this first time I've watched him play, he's a real skilled kid. He's not, he's not a real strong kid, but he's got good size. He's got good handle with the ball, and he's a good shooter. Yeah, he was, he was a good competition. He could shoot the ball really well from three and mid-range. Mm -hmm. He was a good driver. He had, I mean, he was quick and athletic. It was, he was just a good ball player. Talk about, we're now five and two. We've played some really good competition. Um, we've beaten some good teams. We played, you guys played down in Four City last week, and we've got another opportunity to play three games in Blavel this week and get some more good competition. We know our league is good. But I think you guys are starting to get the idea, hey, we can hang with just about anybody. We, we've got the, the ability, if we're on and we take care of the basketball and our defense is pretty solid, we can play with anybody. What are you guys, are y'all in kind of that mindset or what is, what's, what's your attitude about the team right now? I mean, I think that the team in, or as a whole believes that we could beat anybody, that we could go to state this year and compete with any team that's in the conference. Yep. And it's just a matter of making it happen, of getting the right flow, we got to play defense better. We got to just fix the little things, and then I think that we got a shot. I watched you play at the high post really well, and they got the ball into you. Come down, she had some really nice moves around the around the goal, around the low block area. Is that something you work on a lot? I've always had to play post and been <laughs> small, so I've just got post moves. And you got a good shot too. So, uh, wow, what a great game, Ashton. It was tremendous to watch it. It was a lot of fun. I think everybody will go back and rewatch this one several times because there were just so many great plays in it. Congratulations. Thanks for the interview after the game. And congratulations. We're off to a really good start. And uh, good luck to you guys over in Blyville. We'll be following you over there later in the week. All right. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, man. Ashton Oaks, after the game, what's a W for Paragool? 69-59 to and two overtimes, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this. Go back and rewatch it. There's plenty of great action in it and two incredible shots to get this thing into the second overtime. So, woo. Hope everybody enjoyed it tonight. Congratulations also to the senior Lady Rams who won the opener tonight, 41-21, and the Rams win it in overtime against a very, very game Mountain Home Team 69-59. So, hope everybody enjoyed it. We'll be back with you, I believe, Thursday night. We've got the Mountain Home, or excuse me, West Memphis against our juniors here, and then we're going to go on the road, I believe, to Blyville Friday and Saturday for the Chickasaw Classic. So everybody stay with us. Have a great rest of the week, and we'll talk to you soon. Good night, everybody.